Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm going to show you the three types of grip that you can use to play golf. Stay tuned. So what are the three types of grips that you can use to play golf? I'm not talking about this type of grip, there's plenty of those. I'm talking whether you, you actually place your fingers and hands on the golf club. So if I take my grip and then that's the first grip, that's called the overlapping grip. If I show you the second grip, that's called the baseball grip. And the third grip is the interlocking grip. Now from this angle here, you actually can't see any difference between the three grips. Or if you can, you're, you, know, you, you may, but there's very little difference. It's very difficult to tell from this angle. So I'll do it again. We've got the, uh, we've got the, the Varden grip, or the overlapping grip as it's also called. We've got the baseball grip, and then we've got the interlocking grip. Very difficult to tell. So now I'm going to move in and I'm going to show you what the three grips look like from closer. So there's the first grip. That's the one that we call the Varden grip, which is also called the overlapping grip. So you can see that I have my little finger here on top there. A lot of people actually put it in that cavity in there, but that's actually wrong. You can do it, but I believe that builds too much tension in the hands, and we don't want too much tension. So it's much better if you can put it there. It feels weird, it feels uncomfortable, but that's what the best players in the world do. So that's the overlapping or the Varden. The next one is the baseball grip, which is a legitimate grip. And that's where all 10 digits are on the club. The third one is the interlocking grip. So my fingers do that, they interlock, and that's the grip that was favored by Jack Nicholas. I'm not a huge fan of this grip for most people because once again, it builds a lot of tension in the middle part of my hand and we don't want tension in the middle part of my hand. I usually encourage this grip for small kids, older people, anyone that's not hasn't got a lot of hand strength, I find is it's really beneficial to use this grip. But for the majority of people, I'm happy for you to go either the overlapping or the Varden grip, um, or the, sorry, the baseball grip. So they're the two of my preferred grips. So it doesn't really matter which one you use, but they are the three legitimate grips. The, the overlapping grip or the Varden, the baseball, and the interlocking. The, the grip that I use myself is the overlapping or the Varden. I find that works really, really well. So we want to have control of the club head. If we've got too much tension in the middle part of our hand, we lose the feel of the club head. So it's really important that we try and have a fairly light grip. Overall, I like a little bit more tension through that uh, thumb and the pointer finger because that helps you to control the club. But overall, it's a light grip. So if you can learn to uh, grip the club correctly, it is going to really help you because after all, the grip connects you to the club. If you've got a tow ball connecting a car to a trailer, the toe ball is pretty important. If you've got a loose toe ball, a disaster is just around the corner. If it's secure, it doesn't have to be tight because the, the trailer moves on the toe ball, so we want a little bit of, of movement with our hands, so we don't want a lot of tension, but we need to be able to control the club head. So hopefully that's cleared up the three different types of grip. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And if you like my videos, you can subscribe on YouTube by clicking on the avatar down below there. You can get further information on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed, or you can go to my electronic newsletter at thegolfdoctor.com.au.